heard that in the Dáil last week, uh, Minister Riley declared that the coronary care death rate in Roscommon was four times that of Galway. As a result of that, he, he actually stated that people would be better off, four times better off in Galway than Roscommon. The figures he quoted were from Hype, which is the hospital's return of information. These are the documents. We have given these documents to Professor Crown, or Senator Crown. He has them independently evaluated. And his statement this morning when I talked to him was that the figures in Roscommon are, are similar to Galway's, but could even be better than Galway's. Now he's going to make that statement in the Senate today between half two and half three. So it brings into question the research on which Minister Riley is basing the whole reconfiguration programme. Not alone in Roscommon, the reconfiguration programme is to move patients from Category 3 hospitals with Category services to specialist hospitals which are known as Category 4. At the moment, the patients in Roscommon are being moved around to other Category 3 hospitals and not to the specialist centre. So it's actually going against national policy and we're saying that patients' lives are being put at risk. Uh, ultimately, it isn't an apology that we're looking for. We're looking for him to follow through on his uh, quite clear promise at election time that uh, services would be maintained at Roscommon A&E and an apology isn't going to save anyone's life. What we want him to do is what he promised he would do. One of their major weapons in this whole battle is the fact that James Riley, or the minister, is a doctor and that uh, we should listen to him because he's a doctor and his facts are right. But as it turns out, when you get his uh, figures and his information, when you actually sit down and look at them consistently, though that information and those figures have been proved wrong. So it's quite simple. Next time James Riley opens his mouth, go off and check, your, check his figures before you come to any conclusions.